I've actually not been terrified, but I will tell you what has my journey has been. And as you know, I'm also a writer. I was working on and very particularly on a sports parenting story for Chicago Health the summer that I began to think that his gymnastics coach was abusive. He loved his teammates and they won state and they placed at regionals and he did some amazing things. But when he moved up to the next level, started working out with the older boys and this young, inexperienced coach, Quinn was starting to develop ticks. He was having a really rough time and I started watching practices. And if you know anything about gymnastics, they practice 15 to 18 hours a week at that level. But I still remember, and I get this vis- visceral reaction even now, going shopping, grocery shopping, came back maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes later, and Quinn runs out and says that this older boy who was the team leader, he was leading stretch, he assigned him tw- 12 ropes for not paying attention, just randomly started punishing him. And I walked out of the practice. And I was working on this sports parenting story, and I interviewed a sports psychologist who also had been a college gymnastics coach, and I described the situation, and she directed me to go to safesport.com, and you can really see what is considered bullying, what is considered not safe sport. I called them. They all agreed this was not good. We walked out. We didn't come back. And at that time, I want to stop the year before moment there because uh, you know, being able to differentiate between abusive coaching versus tough coaching can be really, really hard for a lot of parents. First of all, most of us have never been elite athletes. Second of all, I think that a lot of parents who were athletes, I mean, some of this stuff was very, very, very common right? And so what somebody may have experienced when they were an athlete or in high school doesn't necessarily mean it was healthy. 